guy only arrived in the country about 12 hours ago. He had a suspension with him. He put it straight into this bike here. And he's out to send it for us again. And in Southern California here, we've got Colin Rahat in great job last year. Double it out with our local boy. Colin Rahat. Colin Rahat. Colin Rahat. Colin Rahat. Colin Rahat. Probably the easiest reason to go so recently when he arrived. It looks like he's falling that thing between his legs, right? Oh, super smooth as yeah. always. Exactly what you'd expect from our real moto champion over here. And this guy was surprised back in the day yesterday. Point out. Yes, Cal, really. Showing exactly what he's got in store for us. Gets over that nice one and easy yesterday, getting up around that 35 foot mark. That was separating him in from the boys yesterday. And Chris did a great job there getting up and over. Thank you, Dan. For a minute, Patrick Evans looking good there too, all the way from the States. Make some noise for Patty there. Great job to get up and over 26 feet. Now, the way this works, you've got a two strike rule. If you knock that bar off, you get one more go at it. You knock it off two times, you are back to the test and you are done. I remember to see the guys, they're just trying to get there. The start's right in the front of the front of Elijah Weezy. Maybe quick look at that one as well. No one yeah. walked so far. But this is the look on Elijah Weezy's dad's face. It's just working out what Elijah's going to do. And dad just had a kitten straight away. He's just like, oh no, there's going to be six on by the time we get up. I'll tell you, super proud of Elijah here. We had a great contingent from Adelaide right behind him to get him up and over. He did a great job. One of the riders who came in here, not necessarily too experienced in the step up competition, especially at this level. Australia did a great job of flying the flag here. As we saying yesterday, Ken, this is the second richest Moto X sport uh, competition that we've got going on. Massimo, looks up and over, looking stylish. He's along all the way from Italy there, Massimo. Great job, 26 feet. 28. Alright, that's all our riders through, getting up to 28 feet now, going up to two foot increments at this stage of the game. Just a quick one for you folks, so what we're talking about, there's a few terms you may or may not have heard, you may or may not be able to see me when I do this. Transition is the section here that ramps up like that. We're talking about 78 degrees and we're referring to the angle of the lip at that point in there. When we're measuring this thing, we're actually measuring it from around about here where I'm standing to the top of the bar, sorry, to the bottom of the bar. Um, to the top of the bar there, so to where we're talking about 31 feet, 28, 28 feet, I'm referring to this point, to that point there is 28 feet, so you've got a calculator and you need to live in metric, you can do the numbers. Quite simple, really. The time is easy. It's easy. It's sure it's anyway. right. But when you're looking at this from a distance, you think, oh, well, what how high that is. As soon as you go and stand where you were, you realise this thing looks like the size of a house and you've got to try and jump over. <laughs>
Oh, we gotta make sure that the guys are getting nice and warmed up because it's not only about getting up and over the bar, it's about that on the other side. We've already seen a couple of our riders go out with two story creed, he broke his elbow only about three and a half weeks ago. And he was down here competing, he got up to about twenty-eight feet yesterday, did a great job. Massimo has been shooting up there and over, looking good down for Italy. Great yeah. style, looks down that bar. That's everybody through, is it? Yeah, we're back to three, and we're going to go up again. 30 feet this 30 time. Feet. That's 10 metres, or roughly 10 metres, that's what we've been through today. Looking good up around this height. Like we said it before, it's not only about getting up and over the bar, it's about landing on the other side. What we're, what we're talking about quite a bit in the last couple of days is, is the head game that goes into this. So in the motocross or supercross races, mine, you're going to hit a jump, you're actually going to get the bike as low as you can to go as far as you can to get back on the wheel on the ground. This is the show. And if you want to get that knee, you're going to take it on, throw it out the left side of your brain and do something like this, which is go as high as you can and then hang on for the land. Now, you're actually going to be right. Now, you're actually going to be right. Just gets up and over. That was a bit of wheel spin. It's like the start there. He just got back out of that bars. He does have that upright style, which means suit position to be able to get that body weight up over the bars. It's all Bobby Raha is going to go back out here and have a look at this one. Came in, had a practice, looked pretty good this morning, said he was comfortable on that machine. Rockstar Energy Support. Lives in the hot motor in your area, 909. That bike is brand new. We've literally got maybe half an hour on the fresh out of the yeah, so you can see that the start got a little bit of lift on that front wheel as he came in, which means he wasn't going to get that seat bounce that he was looking for coming into the transition. So straight back around now for Raha. He gets his go straight away. So this is the first use we've had for you folks who didn't hear the rules on the get-go. Kind of similar to high jump, but you can't pass the high here. So Raha hits the bar, he gets the second go straight away. Um, and the way the field is stacked now with number one is we've got everyone makes it up today. That's why we want to see it as well. It's a good thing too that you come back around and you have a go uh, at it again straight away. Which means you're not just going to sit back and let those mental games start to take control. Right. You get back out there and have another look at it. You get back out there and have another look at it. And if we're with our grip and launch coming out of here, some of our races will use that button start. We'll see yesterday. We saw some of that yesterday. Some of the freestyles are more about trying to get a slow roll onto that front, like squeeze the lemon as we talk about. Yeah, we got this guy coming out of the Wiley competitor. Knows exactly what he's got to do. He's certainly hard on that motorbike. He's essentially done. Well, we're on. Let's talk about that one. Head down, ladies and gentlemen. Make some noise there for Kobe. Yeah. He's got the surprise for the ride to Just keep making some good ride there, guys, man. There's a button there. He's going to start off for that. That's it. Why don't you get out there? We talked about this bit yesterday, we don't want to, you don't want to go too high in these earlier rounds because you take an impact not only on those ankles and knees but also the moral back. Ah, Chris Cavalier, we have that Aussie boy getting up and flying it home. I like the way Cavalier attacks and he gets there as soon as his bike's lined up, I'm out here. Oh, I love it. I love it. Bang, 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 bang. Doesn't take any time to think about it. Patrick Evans is done with that. Dicey. We did have our heights of yesterday at around 35 feet. All the riders were getting to that point. Starting to get that little bit dodgy. You get up to the top of that monster energy site. Of course, it wouldn't be possible to put the event on if it wasn't for our sponsors here. Monster Energy Fox, and of course, Super Loop at Lake 500. Thanks so much, Supercars Championship, for looking after us again this year. Big success last year in Moto X. And he's up and about. How about it, ladies and gentlemen? Good chance to get there for Patrick Evans. All right, Patrick, uh, get a rough on there, mate. Let's yeah, do that one. Yeah, I struggle with the bench on this bike because I'm trying something that's not what I usually ride at home. So I'm trying to get used to it. It's a little soft, but I kind of seriously get the 
Massimo Bianconcini, how you looking at that? Massimo Bianconcini. Oh, the was too nice and clean. Great style. Turn that back out. I was deluded. Put your hands together for him. Thanks, Massimo Bianconcini. Great job there, the Italian. What are you money on the line here this weekend? Two forty-four thousand dollars total. Five hundred and fifty-four thousand dollars. Officially now is the richest motocross event in the country. Wow. 44 Holy grand. K. Not a bad... Uh, and I'll be honest with you, if I'm going halfway to the moon and I'm coming out of land, I want every single week somebody to make myself this weekend, all right? Mate, you're absolutely right. Very much to get up and you're experiencing that weightlessness feeling, which means uh, there's not much you can do. 31 feet, we're back to the start here now. Oh, oh, we're oh, now 31 feet. First round on this is really hot ball. Oh, the Elijah Wizzy up, does he make it? Gets it clean and clear, Adelaide. 
Hometown boy number over 31, Finn, make some noise for him. We saw his part. I was talking to him this morning and I said, just before you run, I was trying to get you a bit of silence because I, want, I didn't want to break your concentration. He goes, nah, mate, give me as much noise as you possibly can. That's what's going to get me over it. I know. This one here gets I think they've been in the bars since about 7 a.m. By the time we got to us at 6 p.m. last night, they were a profit. She just won that lot. Well pumped up they were on the local boy. So top six here in the money. Like I said, the boys are looking at it over the whole weekend. and know there's plenty of opportunity to take that money. Tonight we're back here at 6.30pm. Another shot at it. Yesterday we saw a nice bit of fun. Uh, nice bit of fun. Uh, nice bit of fun. Uh, nice bit of fun. Check it out. Here we go. Yesterday, they just reminded me of those old school freestyle bits that Deegan and the guys ride the hill to do all these crazy big turn ups and turn down things. Massimo's got that style like from the 90s type thing, you know. 